Today's video is brought to you by the letter E. So a lot of my mods that I show off here tend to add things to the list of weapons in Fallout 4. Today I want to make a list of mods that will not replace the vanilla weapons as I'm not going to take the vanilla assault rifle and switch it out with a M249 or something. I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to be showing off mods that overhaul the look and feel of the weapons that I have a problem with. I'll give my reasoning for each selection, but I'm sure you'll understand why I picked the weapons that I did. Except for the pipe pistols. Just replace them with Nina's proper pipe, pipe guns. Because the pipe pistols look like they're just fucking blocks of wood. And the ones that are Nina's proper pipe guns are actually made of pipe, it looks like. And just scrap metal and old broken gun parts. So take that. We're, so we're going to start off with one that is pretty small. For some reason in the in the last two Bethesda Fallout games, they've really insisted on left-handed weapons. And if you're anything like normal human beings, you'll know that left-handed weapons are really rare. I mean, there are ambidextrous weapons, as if it's left-handed, what tends to happen is the brass gets ejected directly into the user's left arm if they're right-handed and using it, which our characters are. So, the second mod up is Right-Handed Hunting Rifle by WarDaddy755. This is a very simple mod. It literally just changes the animations and texture of the hunting rifle to be right-handed. There's even an option that in the mod to up the damage of the hunting rifle, but I don't have it on there. And you can tell by the gameplay, I probably should have it on there. But yeah, I don't have a problem with the design of the hunting rifle. I like it well enough. I just like my guns being right-handed. It feels more at home, you know? Now up next, this one's gonna be getting out of the way early. Um, the fucking assault rifle is garbage. It's not an assault rifle. And I understand that there was cut content of a Chinese assault rifle, and that was supposed to be the assault rifle in the game. But the gun that we get in the game is not an assault rifle. That is at most a machine gun, which it was originally named. So, thanks to the work of Degenerate DAC, we have the MG69, DAC's assault rifle replacer. Which, it doesn't change it into more of an assault rifle, it makes it more into a machine gun, and makes it look actually practical to use. It also changes the caliber of the gun to 308, which would make it more of a punchy assault rifle. It changes many of the attachments, but also keeps some of them. I think this mod is great, I've been using it ever since it came out. And it was only released the 4th of December. But this will just keep your eyes from melting every time you see that fucking piece of shit that Bethesda designed. It's not an assault rifle. Up next, we got, we're going to keep on with Degenerate Dax stuff, and we got the Dax Immersive Combat Rifle Overhaul. Now, the combat rifle is cool. I really didn't have a problem with it, except for the fact that it was by default chambered in 45, which... Why? Why 45? This mod changes some of the model, but also chambers it in 5.56, making 5.56 more useful instead of it just being for the assault rifle and December's child from Far Harbor. And if you so desire, you can chamber it back into 45 and the mesh changes to show that. You get a skinny little magazine, which makes sense for a pistol cartridge such as 45 automatic. It's beautiful, I love it. I'm keeping it, he's mine now. Now up next, we have the N99 10 millimeter pistol. Now the standard 10 millimeter from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 is very chunky. I mean, the Fallout 3 and New Vegas 10 millimeter pistols were also chunky, but that was more due to the fact that they were slightly based off of the Desert Eagle. Now this mod by Toasty Fresh, seeks to bring it back into that fold. It's less chunky, but you can still see the details from the classic Desert Eagle look. And it has a bunch of different mods. You can remove the torch feature, you can add a laser, you can add the torch feature on there. There's even three different styles of receivers. I feel like this makes it look that much better. And the files even offer a non-replacer version just in case you wanted it mixed in with your uh, leveled list. So if you want to have the big chunky pistol, and then you also have this pistol, you absolutely can. So the submachine gun from Fallout 4 doesn't deal a lot of damage. It has a high rate of fire, but does not make up for it at all. Like the, the high rate of fire does not make up for the low amount of damage. It's only really useful if you get the explosive trait. And even then, it's middling at best. So we have the M1928A1 Thompson Day of Infamy mod by Nonyak. This mod doesn't replace the submachine gun as you can still get it in game, but it adds three different Thompsons for you to use in case you don't want 
just to use the crappy Bethesda one. It adds the M1928, the M1A1, and the 1919 Annihilator into the game. They each have their own different rate of fire and strengths. The Annihilator has a high rate of fire, but a really high amount of kick. The M1A1 has a slower rate of fire, but deals more damage. And the 1928 is a bit of a middle ground between the two. So this will improve the combat between you and the Triggermen as you're going through some of the quest lines, as well as the Silver Shroud quest, if you decide you still want to use a Thompson for that. Uh, I can explain. Finally, we have the radium rifle. Now, in and of itself, there's no problem with the radium rifle, except for the fact that there's a fuck. It's a fucking Volkssturmgewehr, and how the fuck did a, Volk a Volkssturmgewehr get over to the United States and survive fucking up until 2077, long enough for it to be recovered 200 years later by the fuck? It's ugly. It don't sound good. Thankfully, Crimson Rider also felt that with the restored radium rifle. It brings the radium rifle back into its classic look of the Volkssturmgewehr. And while it does not have any of its radiation bits, it makes it look more like an actual gun. It still holds its radioactive properties and the same sound. So, to get rid of that awful sound and bring it into some normality, but with also still the radioactive sounds from it, we have the Radium Rifle Audio Overhaul from Z Mantras. I think I'm saying that right. But this makes the gun sound not like a complete piece of dog shit. And it actually sounds really cool. Because the foremost feature, instead of it being the radio radioactive sound, it's more the gun making the sound, and then you hear the radioactive parts. You can have one of the one of the other mods, it doesn't matter. If you like the look of the Volkssturmgewehr just with a bunch of shit duct taped and stapled onto it, go for it. You can have that, but also have this audio overhaul. It'll sound better. It won't look as good, but it'll sound better. But that's what I got for you this time. A couple of weapon mods that'll just make the guns in Fallout 4 look a lot better. I mainly covered the guns that I personally had a problem with. The other ones that are in the game, such as the Deliverer, the Handmade Rifle, and the Energy Guns, uh, I don't really have an issue with. Mostly because I there's no real-life examples to base them off of. We don't have laser guns yet. Give it time. Once China starts World War III, we'll have a reason to start making laser guns. Alright, but that's all I got. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.